Hey, what's going on guys and girls? I'm Colleague Phoenix here and welcome to episode number one of my COD World War II Road to Commander Revisited. So we're going to enter Prestige 5. So we know exactly where we're at. Bang on zero. Everything's all done. Once we've gone through this because it won't let me push back to get out of this. I've gone and uh, checked out all my my classes to get an idea of what classes I had. I'm an inspiration. And then you get that above your head. Although my headquarters are always empty. I've noticed apparently in America people have been having headquarters with people in them. But unfortunately mine's uh, always empty. Which sucks. But we're back to level 1. So we can start this series off right. I've done some of these for the day, so we're not going to be able to do a bunch of these. I do have a contract selected to unlock the Wimmerberg gun. Did I get anything for that? No. Uh, we probably can't even... Can we even set up classes? Commando. So... So my go-to is this gun. For sure. Get the ball rolling pretty easily on that. I think that was the setup I was running. If not, it'll do for now. Um, we can go... We're not going to go requisition. See, so score streaks do not reset on death. I hate that. I really do. I like escalation. Quite a lot. And we'll go... Hustle would be good. We don't have that yet. Uh... Bullet damage pain map. Eh. Yeah, why not? We'll just do that. We'll go the rock revolver. Shove high caliber on it or something. We'll roll with that. We'll get another one going. We'll have something else going. Alright, now we'll quickly set up a grip. Quick draw. And extendo with escalation, and yeah, that one will do. That's fine. All right, I think we're good to start with those first two classes. We're going to play some normal TDM if we can find a game. I don't want to just have this entire series be nothing but Nuketown 24-7. That doesn't sound like a very interesting series. Mm. Recon, glide bomb. Oh, I didn't even have a chance to change it. I normally go uh, the fighter pilot. And we get Nuketown TDM anyway. Maybe we'll try some war, see if anybody's playing war after this match. That might be the way to go. That is loud. We'll, we'll smash through some levels pretty quick at the start here. Shouldn't be too much of a problem. My aim could be better. Okay, I deserve to die there. And I'm also playing with a bit of ping. According to the old uh, scoreboardy who's it. Oh, come on, man. I get a three-piece and then I get shoveled. That's just rude. Whoa. Throw the nade. Wow, he crouch shot me. He did the old bob up and down. Alright. See, TDM on this map, unfortunately, is just extremely short. Come on, man. Get rid of the shovel. <laughs> Alright, not the greatest start in the world, but then again, I'm not really running around trying... Like, I'm not really playing for high KD, am I? 
I'm running around like an idiot. Just trying to kill people. I was trying to avoid Shovel Boy again. Alright, well, rough, like, yeah, not a, not a great first game. That's okay, though. Playing at a crappy ping and also, yeah, I was playing like an idiot. Let's see how we went in terms of, like, did we go up A level? Because it's double XP as well. Which means if you guys and girls years ago watched the original series of this, then you will notice that it will be probably half the amount of episodes. I think it was about 54 episodes, the original series. Something along those lines. And this series obviously is going to be a lot shorter than that. That's for sure. Oh, I'm meant to be getting uh, rifle kills as well, so... We'll set up at least two rifles. Yeah, let's use the let's have the NZ forty one on as one as well. Um, let's just not go with that. Let's just go with this. Uh, escalation and that one. Blitzberg can be good if you're wanting to do kills, not score streaks. If you're going for kill streaks, they can be pretty good. Like this. But, um, personally, I'm not necessary. I, I, I did have an A-class role in that, but it's not something I roll often. And also, this map's just, ugh. Not, not the world's biggest fan of this map at all. Might actually also turn the music back on, because I'm noticing it is very quiet without it. Which doesn't bother me, but it's really weird with commentary. To not have it. This man's got a shotgun in his hand. Move out and take position. I still keep going attack sprint. Uh, because of Vanguard. Oh, he can't jump up there. I was hoping he could. Oh, I tried to run and sprint jump. So obviously getting this contract done, the best place to get this contract done is on Nuketown, just because you're not really going to run out of time. Like, if you can't get 150 rifle kills on Nuketown in two hours, then, I mean, you, know, you might need to rethink how you're playing the game. Okay, that's just ridiculous. I really thought if he ran that route, I had plenty of distance to at least live long enough to kill him. I actually prefer that side of the map a lot more. And ping's still bad. I didn't remember that this lobby wasn't great for my ping. I kind of forgot about that. See, like that. I pre-fired, hit shots on first, and I still died. So this could be a little bit of a rough match if uh, that's going to be the case. Also, Arkin, when there's only four people, is a little slow. This fighter pilot didn't do too terribly much. That's teammate. We're just shooting each other. No, why do I got to get pinched in between them? Why do I got to get sandwiched, man? Get off me. Anybody who says a Call of Duty game that doesn't have collision isn't better for it is crazy. Call of Duty not having collision is great. Not getting stuck on teammates and stuff is fantastic. Because getting stuck on teammates sucks. Get out of there. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Feed out the door. Watch up. I 
I like how it says this gun is like high recoil, but it shoots fast. I wouldn't say it shoots fast. Okay, this could be bad if he has a shoddy. Oh, I got him. Get that out, get that out, get out, that out. I need the... I need the help. Oh, no! Oh, that was going so well. Oh, my God. It wouldn't even, It wouldn't let me go any further back than that. I saw you. Okay, they just guess they're just gonna spawn back there, huh? Why? You spawned them on top of me. Which would have been great if, it, like, that would have been fine if it wasn't for the one shotgun boy that had pushed up. I would have been completely fine with that sitch. I feel like I could have come out on top with killing all of them, to be honest. <clears throat> I'm confident enough in my abilities in this game, at least, to be able to do that. I was one kill off the UAV. I really wanted that UAV. Doesn't that suck when your timing is just off? Oh, I hit him first and I still died. That is such shite. This ping, man. I don't actually know what it is, unfortunately. Like, orange doesn't tell me much, but I'm thinking maybe 90? 90, 90 ping? And I just ran into that grenade like a moron. Yeah, I'm thinking around 90 ping is probably what I've got. If I was to take a guess. Also, uh, what is my teammates doing? Like, I'm not having a bad game by any stretch of the imagination. And we are, st we are losing. Quite significantly. Just gonna roll it up there, then he'll have to run out. He'll have to push out. I'll have to stay left side. Oh, if there wasn't two of them, I was fine. I messed it up. In fact, if I had an SMG, I was fine. This gun is just not really what I wanted um, in that small area. Once I started hit firing, I was screwed. Oh. And if I got on target quicker, I was also alright. I didn't get on target straight away. So they got shots on first. I don't like really going into any of these spots, honestly, because there's so many, like, it's, it's just too close quarters for a gun like this, more than anything else. Like, with an SMG, you feel pretty confident. This gun kind of is not great at hip fire, and you can really get messed up upon if you've got teammates that aren't paying attention and let them just walk up on top of you. And the library's the worst part of the map. That little library bit. Alright. Have to try not to die. Because my teammates are clearly not doing too well on that front. I hate having that direction to watch. Okay. Get out of my way. Good stuff. Okay. I don't know what more I could have done there. I hit him two or three times. 
on my screen before he even shot me and I still died. You know, like... That's just frustrating. They're up. Fair enough. We deserve to lose. I guess... I blame myself even though... I've done pretty okay. I still blame myself. Oh my god. Oh! Mm. 11 and 21 is pretty bad. It's just so many deaths. Like, the guy that went 6 and 10 didn't really die too much more than what he killed. But the guy who went 11 and 21 definitely didn't help. See, we're like, we're level 5 already. You just blitz through levels. Like, if we played Nuketown, we could just cream through levels. It just wouldn't be very interesting to only play the same map over and over and over again. Like, if you wanted to do it as a challenge for how fast you can hit um, max, I guess that could be kind of cool. But other than that, I don't think it'd be very interesting. Uh, do we try a match of war and see if there's... See if there's something to that. Oh yeah, that would be nice. Get a bit of headshot damage increase. I'll take that. See if we can find a Wolver Lobby, of course. Oh my god. Rare. Epic. Or epic, heroic. epic, heroic. And of course the heroic one I get is one I've already had. You want to be getting ones you haven't had. Because then that means it's probably going to help you unlock guns that you don't own. That's the way I look at it anyway. Uh, let's see. What's the sitch? The sitch is we could win right here. Stop the Germans from escorting their tanks through the front line. This is contested. Stop Get them off of it. Bees Keep That's all you have to do. Get them off of it. And we win. We did it. We them from Easiest war the game of my life. Time to the Not a ton of people really playing, is there? I mean, it's 8.30 on a public holiday, which, you know, you'd think, oh, maybe more people will be on, but to be honest, most people probably be trashed by now. <laughs> That's the reality of it. It does mean we should be able to fly through this pretty easily, though. Or the enemy will destroy everything. The front line towards the bridge. Everything will be screwed. I'm also sitting on my wallet and it really hurts. Take that out of your back pocket. Handy tip. Everybody, when you when you're driving and stuff like that, don't sit on your wallet or anything like that. That's how you ruin, like you, that's how you mess with your sciatica, and that causes a lot of pain. That is something I got told. So I always sit the wallet like in the door next to me or something, and not on it, not in my back pocket, because it causes a lot of pain. Sorry, champion. We're going to get a, at least B over the line here. Uh, we got B. We're going to get A. Then I'm going to get shot in the back. Alright, beautiful. We've broken through the front line. Keep moving towards the bridge. Yeah, what are you going to do? The tank is running low on fuel. Let's have a look at your gun. Just a bright blue STG. Nothing special there. Sorry, champ. I'd like more people to join. I like full war games. I don't want to play 4v4 or anything like that. An enemy tank disabled one of our tanks. We have only one tank left. We destroyed their ambush, but our last tank is almost out of fuel. Steal fuel from the enemy. Oh, 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 oh. Boo Successfully 
Enemy flamethrower on the battlefield. Easy rank up, boys. Easy rank up. And you can shoot through those wood walls if you didn't know. If you've never played uh, Cod World War 2. There he is. Oh my god. Like, I would love a teammate to push up with me. We've got four of them. I'm sure one could move up to be with me. Instead of going after I've already gone and then getting himself shot. What are you going to do, buddy? Oh my god. I hate Betty's. It is my biggest pet peeve in this game is Betty's. I do not like them. No, I do not. They are terrible. And if you can hear my kids yelling in the background, I apologize. From the enemy. I was prone that time, so it didn't affect me. Right, cover my ass. I guess I'm going to do everything in this game. You know, if half these boys pushed up to the same objective, we'd get it easy. Here we go. Here we go. <coughs> Bit of teamwork, fellas. Let's go. Go, 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 go. Yeah, we got it. Okay, I don't want to do that because I want the rifle kills. Sorry, I was trying to mute to sneeze. That's why I ran away from the tank for a second. The tanks are dancing. Protect it. Uh, gun's terrible hip fire, by the way. <clears throat> I mean, it's a rifle. I don't expect it to be perfect, but it's not great. Also, I feel like if we're going to win, I'm going to have to pull my finger out of my ass. Oh, no. I tried to get in the turret to try and tank some of the damage. Well, they got 5v4. That's not going to help either. What the fuck? Alright, we're gonna have to at least get a few... ...a few kills here. God. Get me behind the tank! Where is our teammates? Come on, boys. Let's get it going. He's standing at the front. There we go. Okay, that's good. The tank blocked him from being able to shoot me, which is nice. Gotta watch the flank behind us. Got him. I never understood people using that scrambler um, ability because it just really gives you a way that at least that you're there. Oh crap! There are. Parachute is a little bit behind. I forgot I hadn't died to uh, utilize it. So sometimes it can backfire if you have a really good streak, because then you're way, way back. Nobody's escorting the tank. It's retreating. Move. The enemy Just checking down there to see if we can see anybody. You need to kill people in front of it. 
Those flare things are kind of getting annoying. Causing a few issues. We did it. Sometimes just standing on top of it, even if there's enemies around it, you can still push. Sorry, that little lack of talk in my partner was talking to me for a minute. I think we did pretty well. We went up three levels in, in those two rounds. The first round really doesn't count because we got like two kills or something. If that... Man, war mode though is just fantastic there is no doubt in my mind that war mode is literally the perfect game mode and it was so disappointing to not see it in vanguard although i feel like it'd be ruined with the way their matchmaking is anyway so all right we're getting there we're getting there leveling up i think every five levels you get a care package or a, a supply drop Probably want rapid fire on this, I reckon. Would make it probably a lot better. Or ex oh. probably extended mags and rapid fire, and then you probably lose grip and have to deal with the extra recoil. It's it's really like a coin toss on those. Good to see you, soldier. I need your help again. Yeah, it's really a coin toss on those. On what you decide to do. How are we going on our order? We've got an hour and 27 minutes remaining, and we're, we're over one third of the way there. So we're doing fine. Doing very good. And we've got nearly a full war game, and Operation Neptune awaits us. Alright, here we go. It's D Day, gentlemen. Let's roll out. Clear the shingle and capture the cliff bunkers. Boom, boom. Alright, so the way I like to do this, I like to push up the right hand side. And use diving techniques. Wait for your health to regen. Push up again. Get down low. They can't hit you. Then you push your way up the beachhead. Plant the explosives. And while the smoke is still live from this, because this won't kill you, by the way. Okay, I, I'm fucking... <laughs> Alright, I guess it does. I don't think I've ever died to that. I must move just slightly right enough to avoid dying to it. So, alright. So, you do die to it, but you use the smoke from the... um from it going off to push you out the beachhead. I normally go to B and then A, but I guess we'll go to A just because we spawn on this side. We'll uh, get our ladder built. Push our way up here. Crap on that guy's face and then get shoved, stabbed in the face by an axe. Holy shit, did he get crapped on. My god. That was unreal. That was absolutely unreal. Whoop. Some health regen going. And get a nade up there. Oh, I fucked that up. Alright. There we go. This is the side I want to spawn on. I prefer to take B and then A. Because I feel like B can be the the rougher one to push up on, but this guy is not paying attention to me. Ah oh, fuck. That's gonna this is this has made it so much harder now. Because what I normally do is when I push up on B, I build the ladder and then I put a, um, a para, you know what, at it. And then I can just para drop in constantly. Alright, let's do this. 
Okay, there we go. Yeah. And then what you do is you get to the top of the ladder, make sure you're not in sight, put a power thing down, and you can slowly push your way up. And clear it. And now, if you die, you're right there. And you can just rinse and repeat. Come on, you're gonna push in the other door. Yep. Exactly what you're gonna do. So we can basically capture B by ourselves here. Oh my god. 97%. Alright, well, because we're so close now, it shouldn't be too hard to get the rest of it. Make sure you actually place your thing, because otherwise you'll be pissed if you didn't. You watching to see if someone comes in? Ah, oh, we got it. And that's how you do it. Pretty easy, right? Obviously, if you've got... Sometimes you'll have enemies that make it a lot harder. Oh, we can't go that way. We have to go this way. We don't have a choice, really. I'm pissed that I kind of wasted that nade, though. Oh. Oh, we just need to hard push it. 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 Get up in there. You need to just get up in there. And then we easily secure it. No problemo. And we advance. Watch, watch to see if anybody goes out there and gets themselves blown up. Okay, he got himself shot. If you go out there too early, you get blown up by the explosives that they set off to give them time to push. So that's something you got to be aware of. Um, and some of them can sit back out here. But it looks like we're okay. The problem is when we die, our power drop's going to be all the way back, unfortunately. Because I didn't go and cancel it. Alright, the ADS time is not great on this. Wait for the nade. Crawl back. Okay, well, yeah, we're going to be back here. That's okay, though. We got time, we got time. We got time, we're doing fine. We're doing fine, guys. I would like to have seen at least one or two of those things destroyed, though, not going to lie. Teammates just let them build that freaking shit. Okay, ready. Got a smoke so you can't see. You're gonna throw a nade in there. That'll help destroy some of the comms equipment. Because you can get a bunch of it from here. Stuff like this. And even if you go real careful, you can hit those ones. Right, that shouldn't kill me. Oh my god, I just aimed too far left of him. But you, you see what I mean, right? Like, there's genuine ways to play it. At least these are the ways I like to play them. And they seem to work for me, so, you know, doesn't mean it'll work for everybody. But they work for me, and so that's what I do. Enemy comms equipment is history. Nice work. Um, I'm going to cancel that as well, before I forget to do it. Get some charges on those guns. Uh, it seems like there's no enemies remaining. I tried to dolphin dive away. It didn't really work. Alright, let's push this up here. Destroy the artillery guns. Move. Okay, we're gonna jump that. We're gonna do this. Take their uh take their care package. It's our care package now. Lots of nades coming out there. If we can get up in there, we cover this. 
Because we got a flamethrower, like, there's going to be no issue. And keeping this covered up. It's just pushing it. Struggling a little bit at the moment. Uh, you don't want to be hanging up there too long either. Because, uh, you will surely die. Now I kind of remember why I don't use the flamethrower as a kill streak because it's awful. Ah, that's okay. I don't care about dying. That's the, this is the best thing about war mode, right? You could die a hundred times. Doesn't affect your KD. Up or down, which would suck because I'd have an incredible KD if it affected it up. Because I normally go pretty positive in a lot of war matches, except for obviously in this one, which I'm doing freaking awful at pushing A site. It's not having a good match. Terrible shooting. Ah, keep me covered, keep me covered, keep me covered, keep me covered, boys. Keep me covered, boys. Good shit. Oh, what you can do is you can push out here and you can hit them from the side. As they go to push in. Get a planner while he's while he's covering me. Oh, that nade landed underneath, underneath the the gun. Okay, I didn't even check that time. I just pushed. Right. They seem to be targeting B, which is good. I could probably handle A myself, if I'm really careful about it. I'll get up here and help this guy. Oh, he's got it, he's got it planted, yep. Crap. Okay, we got that 100%, let's get over to B. Come on! Holy crap, it's a freaking grenade fest in there. Okay, let's get it. Let's try to push forward to stay out of the way of that. Alright. It's not a great spot for my... My paratroop anymore. My parachute. Enemy flamethrower observed. Don't bunch up. And of course, I get killed by the cannon. That's okay. If I'm getting killed by that, it means we're setting them off, so that's what we want. Right? Oh my god, the grenades. The grenades. The grenades are insane. I'm gonna get it. And we win. Beautiful. That is the good stuff right there. Right there. Twenty-seven, one build, two demolitions. Not a bad game. Now we get to switch sides. Level ten already. Um, Our enemy is upon us. defending it. Debatedly easier. Debatedly. I honestly like the attacking side a lot more than the defending side on this. Um, war map, but... So I try to not overheat the, uh, the old gun.
So I'm watching to see if they push these and smokes. Which is pretty smart, something I probably don't do often enough. There is one down there, because I can see it. It's pulling my aim assist when I'm going across him, I can feel it. He's going to push through, he's going to push through, he's going to push through. Did he push through already? That is the question. I didn't see him push through. Trying to keep an eye on if it says it's contested. Because when it says it's contested, it means someone's obviously pushed in here. So I'm trying to watch out for that. I mean, if someone has smokes, why not smoke this whole area off? Then I'm going to have to just blind fire and hope. I'm getting sniped at, by the way. Sorry, but like, here's, here's my thing, right? You killed me, no doubt, so it didn't do nothing, but by the same token, it's pretty fucking lame. And it really, it really doesn't help your team very much. Although, maybe it did, because it got me out of there, and the other two probably didn't even notice that someone was in the fucking bunker. Alright, let's see how we go. Give me this one. Oh. Or not, let's just all sit here and snipe the the bunker towers. Which they can they can kill me over and over, that don't fuss me. I just don't think it's a very efficient way to win this mode. Hold the beach No, they died. Okay, they killed each other, it looks like. That's alright then. Someone, I hear him. You can hear him at the wall. Defend the bunkers at all I'm trying to listen for them too. So excuse me if I don't talk every two seconds. But I'm trying to really listen for them. He went straight. That's coming up middle. Someone's, he's watching left. Alright. Boys out here. You got him. I guess I can kind of understand why the gun doesn't shoot very much. But it is a little annoying that it runs out so quickly. How are we going? We're getting them out of A. Defend the bunkers. Doesn't look like getting them out of A too well. Alright, he's coming around. Come on, peek me. Come up here. Come on, come on. Come on. There you are. I saw you pushing around that side. I saw you, baby. Shaking that ass. Shaking that ass. <laughs> Fuck! I... Mm, I saw... I, I heard it. I saw the contested thing. But not quick enough. 
Okay, we got him out of there. That's good. Good job. That was annoying. I'm annoyed at myself that I didn't notice it faster. Ah, oh, come on. Gotcha. I know they're back there. There's a guy on the left side. Teammate, get him please, get him. I didn't expect him to jump, that was pretty smart actually. I can appreciate the jump. Oh, he's in B, get him out of 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 B. Get him out of B. And we win. Congratulations, my Whew. The Fuhrer will, will be pleased. Good stuff. 18 is 16 defense. Yeah. Decent. So, like I said, obviously, you're not going to get as much XP as if you played Nuketown. But I don't want to only play Nuketown, right? I think it just gets a bit repetitive after a while. Like, obviously, there'll be games like what I put up uh, last night. I put up a video of getting a 100 kill game on Nuketown. And they're cool. They're awesome to get. Don't get me wrong. But, like, it's just the same map, though, right? Like, you don't just need to see the same map over and over again. I just don't think it leads to very interesting... Uh, gameplay, if it's only the same map. Occasionally, I might do some Nuketown videos and just see how high a, how high a score I can get. Because that's fun, trying to go for something like that. But just to do that as like a Road to Commander series, I don't think would be very interesting. Oh, I'm one win off my 400th win. That's pretty cool, that's pretty cool. So that 114 kill game that I put out last night was the highest kill game I've ever gotten as well, by the way, in this game. So I thought that was pretty cool. So anyway, guys and girls, that is going to be the end of this first episode. If you liked it, remember to leave a like. If you want to see more Call of Duty World War II in the future, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to follow me on all my social media links down in the description below. Ring the bell, and I hope you all have a lovely day. All right, peace.